Hello again, this is Brandon Clark here to present to you the part one of our how-to guide of working with Node.js and MongoDB on the Ubuntu operating system. In this part we'll be installing Node.js from its source package from Node.js.org and we'll be installing MongoDB from the recommended dev package from MongoDB.org. First, let's go ahead and make sure we have the tools needed to do this. First, install build essentials and the lamp server package provided by the advanced package manager you'll be prompted to enter a password when setting this up I've already done this but just hit enter at each one of those prompts there will be quite a few of them next let's go ahead and go to the source package on nodejs.org you can go ahead and download it from the front page I'll be using a wget you do not want to install the bit version. We want the entire source code. And you can access this from the front page. Next, let's go ahead and get it. Next, we want to uncompress the package we just downloaded and then we want to go ahead and enter the directory which we installed it. From there we want to configure the package to work with our operating system and then we want to make the package. Uh, how we do this we just type make we can utilize our processing cores and run as many events in parallel as possible I'm going to go ahead and use four, but if you leave it at J, your system will automatically figure out how many it can use by itself. Once this is finished, we want to go ahead and install the package we just built. So we do this by becoming a root user. So sudo make install. Simple as that, nothing else. In order to test this, we want to make sure we have the most current version, so we can go node-v, and that will give us the version number, and it is installed correctly. Next, let's go ahead and move on to installing MongoDB, and what we want to do is, let's go back to our browser, and on the MongoDB webpage, you can go to MongoDocs. This will bring up a list of different install parameters underneath the install mongo db now we want to go ahead and use the ubuntu package so let's go to the install ubuntu and it says right here that the advanced package manager from ubuntu doesn't always have the most up-to-date mongo db source so if we do it this way we will always have the latest deb file and we would follow these following instructions we want to install a key server for our app get repository or advanced package manager and then we want to go ahead and update it so we do install it through the advanced package manager and let's go ahead and walk you through each of those steps we'll go back to our terminal prompt go ahead and install the key build a list each one of these commands is provided to you on the MongoDB web page so if I'm going too quick just go ahead and refer to that source we want to update before we install once we have finished updating we will go ahead and use our sudo app get install mongodb-10 gen this is the package provided by mongodb.org
I already have the most recent version installed, so I will not be installing anything. Next, we can go ahead and make sure it works by going Mongo. And there you go, you have the latest shell prompt of 2.45 running on your system. Just hit Control C to exit out, and that is it. I will see you in the next tutorial.